Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brandon. This is Brad. This is Nick. We have a special guest this episode. Who's that? Naja, please step up to the mic. What's your name? Naja. And how old are you? Ten. You sure about that? You said that with a question mark. Uh, <laughs> Just say so you have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did you do today? I went to go see the 1D movie, This Is Us, with my friend Nadia. What's 1D? One Direction. Okay, uh, some people might not know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Who's your favorite One Direction person? Niall. And when's his birthday? He was born on September 13th, 1993. His, his parents' name is Bobby and Mora, and he has an older brother named Craig. And he is the second youngest in the group. Jordan McKnight's birthday from New Kids on the Block is December 31st. That's wrong. It's Joey McIntyre. I thought it was Jordan. It, it was Joey. I have a list of I the wanna, people. I want to contest that. You could look it up, Brad, but you will be wrong. So. Got a corn dog on it. I have. You want I ha <laughs> Huh? No. Oh. I have a list how it goes. Oh, of their age? No, I have a list of my favorites. Oh. Name all your favorites in order. It goes Niall, Liam, Lewis, Harry, and Zane. Do you know the shoe size is in order? <laughs> What's her age? Niall is going to turn 20 on September 13th. Harry's going to turn 20 on February 1st. That's, I don't pay attention to the rest of them. Okay. What's oh. your favorite movie? Forrest Gump. Okay. Anything else you would like to say? That, that's Lewis's favorite Um. Movie, Forrest Gump, and, and, um, um, me and Niall have everything in common because his first name starts to end, my first name starts to end, his last name starts to H, my last name starts to H, and Lewis is 22, Zane is 21, and Niall is 19, Harry's 19, Liam is 20. And you have admitted to being a stalker? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Joey McIntyre's birthday is December 31st, in your face. I think I said Jordan because I told Alicia Bentley that, because she had a crush on Jordan, that we shared the same birthday hoping to get a date or hoping she would be interested, but a date in second grade? I don't know. So, treasure hunting this week. <laughs> if you listen to our podcast, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, and he'll be like, "Oh, I, I got to meet this nausea girl." Treasure hunting this week. I've got a ten dollar bank. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll reveal mine. How many pieces do you have? Tray. Three. Yep. Oh, that's not good. So my first item. Oh wow! Where'd you get that? Uh, there's a new thrift store out that opened. They had a whole slew of Nintendo games, of Super Nintendo games, ran by a Hindu couple. <laughs> so this is Yoshi for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It does not have the instruction booklet. It just has the case and the game? Yep. Wow. Did you pay seven ninety nine for this? How much does it worth? Ten dollars. The game itself is five. The complete version is sixteen. So I've seen the case in the game go for 10. Okay. What's your second item? Dimple cart. NES. We do not have this game. Oh, so are we, are we not going to sell it? No. So then this doesn't count for the treasure. Oh, right? Kennedy. It does still. Why? Because it just does. I don't think so. I'll sell it then. Total Recall. <laughs> How much is this worth? Because last time I checked it was six ninety six, but price charting has been changing a lot lately. That game was on a, a lot of the list for uh, worst games of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cheat a little bit. I did a little bit of research by looking at other people's lists, and that was on pretty much every list. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played this game? No. It sucks pretty hard. <laughs> I wish I could put it on my list right now because it just dropped. Oh no! Four twenty-six. Oh! All right, this game I had to switch jewel cases with because the one I came in was cracked. Oh, jewel cases! Huh? 
Yeah. PlayStation. Yep. So, um, the price on it says one ninety nine, but I it's not one one ninety nine. I paid four ninety nine for it. Wait, what? The game I traded this out of the jewel case. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's you paid four ninety nine for it. Yeah, and the sticker on here says one ninety nine. That's from another game. Yeah, from simple. Air guys, that's tight. How much does that work? Twenty seven. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Do you know how to spell it? No. E H R. That should be good enough. Not too many games start with E H R. Oh, it's fucking complete, isn't it? It's complete. Yeah, twenty-seven dollars. Where'd you find that at? Simple. All right, this is my last game. Baseball stars. <laughs> nice. They had it. Yeah, the Hindus. Yep. How much does that worth? Nine nine dollars. Okay. So I I still lost. You did lose. Okay. And I couldn't get a hell of a kid, so we'll just spin the wheel next time. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Feverishly ripping pieces of paper. Well, I'll see if he contacts you before the end of the yeah. show. So do we it, could right? come back, but it's the wheel. Okay. All right. So Let me text Jordan to see if he can, because um, he probably has his phone. Where's Karen? Hold on. Can you find my notebook? Why do you talking to your phone like that? Because it. That's not what I say. More we'll text. What kind of app is that? It's not. It's just on my phone. No. It's futuristic. Yeah, that's it. Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's total this up real quick. Let's well, uh, uh, you spent. I owe you six still. Okay. And then I spent seven. And then how much is this? Seven ninety nine. This was four ninety nine. No, Yoshi. Oh, seven. Seven, nine, nine, so eight. Eight, seven, and six. Twenty-one divided by two. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Ten, fifty. So eleven. Yeah. Okay. And then mine was four ninety-nine. So, so three. five. Yeah, so three. So eleven minus three. Eight. Six, you owe me. So I owe you two dollars. Okay. Can you put that in your teenage composition book? It's this is my teenage composition book. I know. Okay. Uh, game of the week. Maybe not. Can you find my notebook? Right, that's what I checked short. Right. right. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there we go. You don't know where it is? I don't know. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> Check the garage. Have you ever seen Pineapple Express? It was pretty funny. Garage League. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, game of the week. We played Super Mario Brothers 2, non Mega Man game. A non Mega Man game, that's a first for treasure hunting for nostalgia. <laughs> no, we did Maniac Mansion. <laughs> a non M game. <laughs> <laughs> So I was given the challenge to only play with Mario because he's probably the worst one. He is the worst character to choose. So um, let's go ahead and tell that story about that. I was like, I would not want to play as Mario because he sucks so much he'll probably give you AIDS. <laughs> 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 and then what would you say? I said, uh, you can't con contract AIDS from a video game. You said pretty far-fetched. Yeah. And then I said, so is blood lava. <laughs> <laughs> and then we started to go into how there's super AIDS in the blood lava. Mario's blood is in the blood lava, and you, that's why it takes away so much life. And it just got stupider as it went on. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> so did you do a Mario challenge? Yes. 
How far did you get? Uh, I got to level 5. You didn't use any warps? No. I got through... Um, the, the first time I said continue was level 5-1. Let's put this on hold. He found it. Okay. Okay, let me actually call him now. Um, so I'm pulling the rule of punishment. I hope it's not a corn dog. <laughs> that has a better sound than the wheel. <laughs> Jordan, can you go to the Will of Punishment? Did you find it? That, yeah, in the notebook, there's a Will of Punishment page that has the punishments on it. Okay, so I drew my number. Can you tell me what number 8 is? I said, <laughs> okay, can, can you um, go to the Will of Pleasure now? It should be the one before that or after it. <laughs> and Brandon drew his number. 15. And can you tell me what number 15 is? Yes. $5 treasure added to your bank. I will take that. Okay, thanks, Jordan. Okay, bye. <laughs> Turn on the light. We don't we don't have to actually um, film this, do we? <laughs> Is that your position? You're not gonna stand up? I'm gonna move just like this. Oh, man. <laughs> Ninja style. No, yeah. it's a quick tap, alright? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been hit there in a while, huh? Viper dance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Did my bulge at least look good? <laughs> oh. Okay. So, uh, like I started to say before, the uh, icicle, uh, which is a tap, quick tap to the Mets, I gave Brad. <laughs> that sucked so hard. <laughs> uh, I got challenged to play as Mario, and I made it all the way through uh, 5 1 without saying continue, but that 5 1 level just took all my continues away. It's the one where uh, you have rolling logs coming down waterfall, which is cool, but then you have the fish you have to jump on. Oh, yeah, 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 water. yeah, that's hard, yeah. Especially with Mario, who <laughs> sucks at jumping. That when I was a young younger person, I guess I, that was like the only level that I would switch from Luigi. I'd use Princess yep. on that level. But now, in my uh, old age, I found out that Luigi can cover just as much ground <laughs> as Princess. It just goes higher while he does it. That's right. So I just use Luigi all the time now. I played through level one through three on one night, and I, I died. Had to turn it off. So then I you said game over. No, I think it got late, and I just turned it off. So, I was like, okay, I beat this level, I can start here if I warp. So that's, I think, why I turned it off. Today was the only other day I was able to play it, and I had time to play it. So I threw it on before Nick picked me up, um, probably an hour and a half. I got, I warped to level 4, warped to level 6, I didn't even mess with level 5. I got all the way up to warp, the last boss, and died. It sucked so hard. <laughs> and I was so pissed. So I did it again, and I got up to 7-2. I said continue. So then by the time I got another chance at it, my time was up. But Wart does not die in three hits. <laughs> I, I hit him three times. I threw the vegetable in his mouth three times. And I was like, got him! Nope. Was it five? It's, I, I think it's six. Oh, wow. So stupid. You didn't do it? Nope. Oh, wow. I just got up to level five and... I played this morning after I went to the gym. I came home and 
Um, I was supposed to go over where, over Brad's work and play, but I, I was like, do you have a controller? He said, no. So, well, I guess I'll just play it on the Wii. And the Wii controller sucks. Do you have the classic controller? Yeah. I have the Wii controller. It that sucks. It so sucks hard. for Mario games. Yeah, it does. And I even tried the Wave Bird, the, but the Wave Bird is awkward shape too. So, that yeah, level 5 one was, was just so... I had to give uh, Nick kudos because I tried playing as Luigi. His flutter jump, I could not get it down. <laughs> I was like, no, I gotta switch back to Princess. I love, I love playing with Luigi, man. He, he jumps over so much stuff. Yeah. He clears so much ground. Like, if you ever get frustrated, <laughs> just press down for a few seconds, you know, just jump higher. <laughs> yeah. Jump as high as you can, just hold down the right, right on the D-pad, and you'll just <laughs> jump over everything. It's, it's such a blessing, but I mean, I try not to do that, but it, <laughs> I just find that he's the easiest character to play with. The only downside to Luigi is that he's, I believe he's the slowest character in terms of uh, pulling up coins in the you know, little dark portal rooms, hmm. but I mean, that's nothing. Yeah. Uh, there, there are two levels I wanted to talk about, level 4-2. Oh, man. What's wrong with 4-2? When they had the Shy Guys with the forts. Oh. The flash, and they had to dodge them all. Crossing across the I died once there, it sucked. I yeah. died like seven times. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah, you texted me that. I built up like 13 lives doing the little slot machine game in between levels, and I got to that level, and I, I, by the time I was done with it, I had like five five lives left. When you did the slot machine, did you try to time it? I tried to. I was do, I was doing like four beats a second or so, and I, I, that's how I was getting a lot of cherries. Mm-hmm. Is that what you were doing? No, I just kept smashing A. The first time I did it, I got five ups by getting three cherries in a row. Nice. And then, um, after not really. I get like a cherry here and there. Yeah. And I'll end up three turn ups. You want to get one, one up for that. No, I hate that. That was the only time I actually got three of anything consecutively. Most of the time it's just a cherry. So four two. Yeah. So four two. That was cut. the bigger one is six two. I didn't play that level. You will remember it. It's when they had the albatrosses going across and you have to jump. There's an endless pit. Yep. And you have to jump on all the birds and try to remember that. And then they have a flower that shoots up fire in the middle. Plus they have the shy guys coming out at you. So all I did with that one is I super jumped with Peach and I would jump high up in the air and just kind of follow the bird when I was in trouble. But those are the only two levels. And the 7-2, I don't like 7-2 at all. Hmm. I actually enjoyed playing 7-2. It was fun, but it was difficult. When I was on a time crunch, I was like, come on. Yeah, I under a time crunch, I would, that would not be fun. So how did you beat 4-2? I just eventually slowed down. Cause I, I was telling Brad this on the way over here. I, as, in my youth, I would just fly through that part. I would hold down right as hard as I could and mm-hmm. get my guy running, and then he would just slide across the ice. And I was, you know, quick enough that I could duck under shy guys that were flying out with, at me, and then jump over the ones that were low to the ground. But I didn't have it. <laughs> I didn't have it last night or whatever. <laughs> that, that's how I beat it. I just kept running and ducking and. That's eventually how I did it. I yeah. just had to slow down, and I was too stubborn to do that. Before. The good thing Seven about lives. the good thing about Peach is when you jump, you duck ju- and jump and hold down A in the duck position. You could duck and still float. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. That helped me pass it. I wish I could have played as Peach. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> it's not like we we're like you have to. You're yeah. like I'll do it. Yep. I'll okay. get fuck. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll buy it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the bosses on that game are really enjoyable to fight. I like the fire. I like fighting Triclide. I call him Triclide. I think that's his name. What's his the, name? the snakes. Mm-hmm. I know because I saw the ending credits. Oh, did, yeah. Okay. You guys didn't. No, we didn't. didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mauser. Yeah. He was cool. Uh, and you fought him twice, right? Yep. Level one and three. Uh, yeah, because he's green and three, and it takes five hits to beat. Yeah. Uh, who do you fight in level five? I don't know. I didn't beat level five. Oh. That's is that not Fry Guy? No, I think he I have it written down. So. I think Fry Guy was a four. four. I think it's don't you fight Triclide twice? Claw Grip? That was the one guy I did crab? I skipped. I skipped. Is he a crab? Yeah. Okay. What does he look like? A crab. Uh huh. He's the boss at World Boss in World Four or World Five rather. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get to him. I didn't fight him. I I was trying to play through the whole game without using warps and I got to like world five and I was like and I was starting to get low on lives and I was like oh shit I don't want to have to use any continues so once I got to five three there's a really easy warp to find in the beginning of the level I just used that and it warped you past 
uh, 5-3 all the way past World 6 and into World uh, uh, Level 7-1. So I didn't get to fight the Claw Grip or um, whoever the boss was in World 6. You know, that Tri -clide. was the Tri Clyde again? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, but that, that's actually a really fun game. I like that actually better than Mario 1. That's what I was going to say. That Mario 2 is my favorite Mario game. Like of all time? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I agree with that. <laughs> It's it's definitely different. It's and it, it is very enjoyable to play. You're right. And it's not originally a Mario game. Yeah, I know. we know. That. <laughs> Everybody knows that by now. I like the shy guys. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. And the ninjas. Yeah. Yeah. What are those bird things called? Like puppets or something like that? Is the, that what you're talking about? Yeah, the long nose, the ones that just hop around. Yeah. yeah, I think they're called puppets or something like that. It's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one. Of the, it was one of my favorite games for a long time. I, I have t tons of memories playing that in my youth. And uh, Logan did. He watched the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> you know, the first episode is the Birdo, the cheap cheap, trying to find the cheap cheap baby. He was like, "Is that the cheap cheap mom?" He's like, "Yeah, now I'm gonna kill it." <laughs> oh, when you were playing part two. Yeah. Oh. What's up with that picture of you and him in Target? Him just chilling in the car seat. I on the I, threw him, I threw him up in there and took a picture because I was getting bored and then I threw him in the freezer. <laughs> you didn't get a picture of that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, I gotta check that out. When I first saw that, I thought it was like you using camera tricks, like, because it, it looked like it could have been a reflection. <laughs> and I, I was looking at it closer, like, oh shit, he's really in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's really in the freezer. <laughs> well, so I'll pull it up for you right now. His, you could notice his shoes are sideways because that's the only way I was able to Fit him in there. <laughs> He's in with the pizza. Yeah, Freshetta. That's heck of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, DiGiorno too. Uh, since you guys didn't get to war, I guess I'll just. Well, you did get to war, you just didn't beat him. Yeah. That's what happened. When I got to war, I had like five lives to play with. So I was pretty lucky in that respect. It took me a couple of lives to figure out, you know, what his pattern was, about where the bubbles were. Because what he does, he just walks back and forth on this platform, and occasionally he'll open his mouth to shoot bubbles out, out at you. And it just, it, it's a little bit of a timing thing to figure out when he's going to be shooting them and where the bubbles are going to land. But once I figured that out, he was really easy. And it was all a dream, right? It was all a dream. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessary. I got to wart on my last man on my last continue, and I only got to fight him once, and I was so disappointed. Like, after I died, I was so angry. I was like, I haven't been pissed off like that in a long time. <laughs> I was so mad. And I was like, I'll just try it again. And I do want to go on record saying Toad's, Toad sucks dick in this game. Yeah, I, I went back and played it today. Just because I was I was going to try to use all the warps that I knew of using Toad, because I just didn't. I never use anyone other than Luigi. Luigi's my favorite character in that game, bar none. So just as a challenge to myself, I was going to use Toad. And I got, I, I, I got through the first world, I used the warp to get to world four. And then I got through world four, and I used the warp on world four two to get to world six. And once I got to that level that Brad was talking about, the, where you're flying with an Albatross, I could not do it with Toad. I, I was like, alright, I'm done. His jump is so weak. Yeah. You have to like, do the downward, you know, charge before you jump every time you try to go anywhere with him. So, I, I failed on, in that respect, I guess. I might try it again sometime. Yeah, I, I was thinking, I, I'm gonna beat this game, so, hopefully I'll go back and beat it soon. <laughs> top five! Here we go, top five. Kind of a negative top five. All right. I almost put Super Mario Brothers 2 on this top five list because <laughs> <laughs> of how pissed off I was at it. But then I, I cooled off and I was like, no, I scratched it out. What top five are we doing? Uh, top five of your most hated NES games, worst NES games, however you want to put it, NES games to you that suck. Yeah, I'm I'm putting a little bit of a disclaimer on my list. I know there are worse games than what I'm that I than what I put on my list. My my list is a bottom five or top five, however you want to word it, worst games that I've played. Yeah, that's what I did, too. I only did ones that I've played. Same here. Good. I had a really hard time with this list myself. 
Um, I tend not to play games that suck. What? <laughs> and when I do know they suck, I don't play them anymore. So um, I, I did, you know, do a little Google search to try to find, you know, what other people thought were the worst games ever played. And I found that I just never played any of them. Some, most of them I never even heard of. <laughs> it just so happened that Total Recall was on a lot of the dish, <laughs> and that was some of the treasure today that uh, Brad had found. Okay, so I'm going to pass out a number. Oh, wow. Whoever gets the highest number goes first. 14. That's pretty good. 3. 20. Oh, wow. wow, he got the nuts. <laughs> Hold <Owen. laughs> Nuts on my fingertips. Oh, a lot of foreshadowing today. Hmm. Okay, so I'll start. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> of course, you have for nuts on a fingertip. Yeah. Nuts, my nuts were on your fingertips earlier, and then I got the nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reverse foreshadowing. <laughs> Hindsight. <laughs> um, my number five is going to be Predator. Oh, that game sucks. That game stuck. I, I went back and tried playing it a couple months ago, and I made it to, like, level three. And if you've seen the movie Predator, there's no way... You could think that this relates to the actual movie, this game. <laughs> it's got giant spires in it that hurt you, scorpions. Like, it's just such a horrible game. Wasn't it made by LJN? Yes. That's why. Oh. LJN game stuck. Uh, Jason, Friday the 13th was made by LJN. But we're biased. Yeah, that game was on a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. That game's hectic tight, though. <laughs> We're biased. That's why we don't uh, see it at the back I, I think if i never seen a Friday the 13th movie, I would love that game. Oh, okay. You can't really say that, though, because you've seen Friday. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good concept, though. There's no other game out there like it. <laughs> no, there's not, for a reason. <laughs> 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 I, I've only played that game very briefly, the Friday the 13th game, and it, it, it kind of was what people had written on the internet. You just walk into all these cabins randomly, and occasionally there's something in there. Alright, so did you fight any giant predators? No. Uh, I got to level 3, and I was like, this sucks. I don't mm -hmm. play anymore. And this was like a few months ago before I even moved. I don't even know why. I think I wanted to fight some predators is why I turned it on. <laughs> You just got done watching the new Predator with Adrian Brody? <laughs> probably. That's probably what sad. happened. But that was my number five. <laughs> my fifth worst is kind of controversial because you listed it as one of your favorite games. Uh -huh. Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have, I, I wrote some notes basically apologizing for this pick <laughs> because I know it's a decent game. I know it has a good concept. I like the idea that, you know, Sir Arthur is going around trying to save his lady from, is it Guinevere? Yeah. He's trying to save his lady Guinevere from the, it's the devil, right? Yeah, Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool, it's a cool <laughs> idea. But man, to make a game just to be difficult, like that's the sole purpose of the game, I, I'm not all, I'm not into that. That game is too hard to be enjoyable. Yeah. I, the only reason I enjoy it is because of level one. <laughs> Okay. Level one is heck of fun with the zombies and the red armor. You know what's funny about that? Like at the very beginning of the game, but you, they're having a picnic. He and Guinevere. You know where they're having a picnic? In the graveyard. In the fucking graveyard. What is that? You're asking to be abducted by the devil. You're gonna have a picnic in the graveyard at nighttime. <laughs> they were probably committing some sins. Oh wow. Wasn't he in his uh, underwear too in the beginning? Oh, or did he just have his helmet off? I don't know. I, mean, I don't remember. I just thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, I don't, I've never even gotten past the first level, so I couldn't tell you what the other levels are like anyway. Guinevere probably let him in the back door, and that's what made the Lucifer come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. So that was my number five. <clears throat> uh, my number five, <laughs> Total Recall. Yeah. <laughs> made, this game was actually made by Acclaim. I thought it was made by LJN. But, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, was Space Mutants, Barker's Space Mutants made by a clown? I think so. Because they had the same concept where in the beginning of the level there's a theater, you go in the theater and you watch the credits. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I actually, uh, was watching some YouTube videos on this. Uh, <laughs> there's, in the first level there's a part where there's a wall, 
with holes in it, and there's fists coming out that punch you. I thought that was pretty funny, like a glory hole attack. <laughs> and there's a in the sewer. There's this dude with a pink track suit who takes like twenty hits to to die with like a punch. But then later on in the level, there's these security guards and bulletproof vests, and you could kill them one punch. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, that game sucks. It's, it's so that's my number five total recall. My number four is going to be a carry warriors. Oh, because of the bad memories I have with Matt running it over and over again. <laughs> part, part three. I don't care which one it was. I just remember he rented it over and over and we couldn't get the new game that we wanted <laughs> because he said he never played it. So and I know we, we told mom he only wants to rent it because that's the only game he beat by himself. And it, it's basically like a top view X-Men kind of thing where you keep going and you fight enemies. And uh, I purposely did not put X-Men on this list because of how upset Matt made me feel with this game. <laughs> and it's a top view game. You, you go up and you kick people who come on the screen or punch or whatever. And their enemies come down from the top. And it's just a horrible made game. Can't believe they made three of them. <laughs> a remix probably coming soon. Oh, wow. So my fourth worst game is a movie. Or excuse me, a game based on a movie which generally is a bad recipe. Basically, right off the top of the bat, you know that it's probably not going to be a very good game. There's two I could think of that are very good, but go ahead. I can think of Goldeneye. What else? Not Reynolds Street and Friday the 13th. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was being serious. <laughs> um, Jaws. Oh, yes. Basically, you just float around in a boat from port to port. You kind of power up your boat until you're ready to take on Jaws. And occasionally you, you run into something, I guess, and he, for some reason the guy dives down into the water to see what it is, even though there's a fucking killer white, great white shark down there. <laughs> and all he has is a fucking scuba suit and a spear gun. And you're supposed to kill Jaws with that thing for, <laughs> for, I don't, I don't, I don't even understand the concept of the game. But that's pretty much all that it is. You just float around hoping to run into Jaws and then you try to kill him with a spear gun. And then enemies float up from the bottom, right? And they like kill you in one hit. A jellyfish? Oh, that's right, the jellyfish, yeah. Yeah. And there's a baby, baby jaws. There's a smaller <laughs> jaws. Yeah. And the jaws life actually reminds me of the Jason life. Like you'll hit him for like five times and it'll take away a little bit, but then when you leave out of the water, he'll rejuvenate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I do remember that. Like you, you attack him, it takes, like, I've actually never beaten it, so I don't know. But like you said, it, it's something you can't just do in one try. You just do it over time and eventually kill him. And then there's a, a part where you, when you do take away all his life, he's actually, it, it turns to like a first person mode when you're on the boat. Oh, yeah. And he'll be get coming closer and closer to you. And he'll, you'll see his fin. And it, if you push the B button at the right time, it flashes a light, uh -huh. which makes him come up out of the water, like on the cover. And then you have to push the other button to stab him with the boat, and you'll kill him. <laughs> okay. It's that's, retarded. That's a great game. They have a, they have a bonus game, bonus round in there. Oh, Remember wow. when you're, you're the airplane and you drop oh, cannons? Oh, that's right. That, that was kind of fun. I yeah. gotta admit, that was kind of fun. That was the funnest <laughs> part of the whole game. <laughs> I like when you hit Jaws with the spear gun. He stops and shakes his head back and forth. Like, eh, eh, like he's actually getting hurt. I'm like, dude, just chomp that guy. <laughs> 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 Reverse sushi. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my fourth worst game. Mine was Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones, another yeah. Yeah. game based on a movie. I was talking about <laughs> how bad those generally are. Made by Tengen. This Ten Ten <laughs> have you guys played this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It kind of. I mean, I, the, all the scenery in it look, looks like someone just threw, threw up, up on it. it. Yeah, it looks like they just threw up on the game and on your TV. And you can't even use the whip unless you're swinging. On like a log to get to another part <laughs> of the level. I remember I was like, you can't use the whip. And then I was watching the video and Willie came in and he was like, man, he knew, he knew it. I told him Indiana Jones, I hate Castlevania. What? I like, that game's so hard. I can't even beat the first level. <laughs> <laughs> when did he play it? Uh, his, over his friend's oh, house. Does his friend have Nintendo games? No, it's his uncle, his friend's uncle. Does he have Nintendo games? I don't know. He's, no one could knows where he's at. Michael is missing. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, the guy just went missing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go look for him. 
<laughs> Treasure hunting for Michael. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So Indiana Jones sucks. Yeah, it does. The next thing on my list is Demon Sword. Oh, that game is that game's pretty tight. It. What I remember about it is being in the trees and doing your. It's a side-scrolling platform. You're in the trees. You're in the ground. Whatever. You're in a forest. You jump on the. If you jump on the tree canopies, you will never beat the level. So there we jump forever. You could do these big long jumps. We jumped like ten times, and you could not beat the level unless you were down on the ground. And every time you beat the level, your sword grew. It just it the, the sword growing was tight. <laughs> you remember how we got that game? No. You don't? I thought you would. Is it from Matt? No, we were in uh in the store like Best or something. And there are two games. Demon Sword and I think Clash of Demon Head. Oh. And Brad was like, Mom, let's get Clash of Demon Head. I said, No, let's get Demon Sword. We ended up getting Demon Sword and that game just blew. I remember that now. That sucks. So that's all that's also why I put Demon Sword on here. <laughs> yeah. no. Alright. My number three is another game based on a movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's funny. We have all these movie based games. Yeah, they suck. They do. <laughs> Most of them do. Yeah, like Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's a uh, Top Gun. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo yes. attempts to make a flight simulator and failed miserably. The. Yeah, they failed in that aspect, and they failed in the whole dogfighting thing, too, because you can't really do anything. You just, you kind of go left and right a little bit and up and down, but you can't, like, turn around. It's not like you, you can turn around to try to catch up with uh, any jets that have flown by you. You just kind of have to wait for them to fly by, by you and in front of you. That's really your only way to attack them. Um, so they failed there, and then... The worst part is fucking landing that thing back on the aircraft carrier. <laughs> yes. It's, it's close to impossible. I've seen it done like maybe once or twice. I, I could never do it. But it's just, you know, it's a game based on a movie. It's, it sucks. Another thing that sucks about that game is the refueling. I never had to refuel because I always crashed when I was trying to land. <laughs> it sucks <laughs> that the nozzle would come down and you have to refuel. And Oh, yeah? Yeah, you have to refuel while you're in the air. And, and that that happens on level one if you don't beat it fast enough, right? You really? really run out of fuel. It sucks. Yeah. Huh. yeah, I never made it that far. So I was crashing my life. <laughs> Number three on mine is Duck Hunt. Hmm, controversial. Yeah, it is. I, I it's just boring to me. You, the the zapper was cool and innovative, but we never used it right. We always put the gun right up to the screen. <laughs> yeah, and shot the ducks that way. And the stupid dog. The is, dog is annoying. It's supposed to be annoying. That's the point. <laughs> I wanted to piss on that dog. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the and then the ducks would fly faster. And we lied in second grade. We said that we got to level ninety nine at duck hunt. <laughs> and the uh, you fought a giant duck at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was false. Yeah, it was. Well, maybe. <laughs> is it false? Yeah. Oh. Is there an ending to that game? I don't um, think there, I don't think there is. I don't think so either. <clears throat> I don't know. I I enjoyed Dota. Especially yep. as a kid. You know, you just shoot, shoot <laughs> ducks. That's funny. Do you like fish sticks? Duck hunts? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that I before. Did, not until we were talking about it I it came in my head. <laughs> I like duck hunt. <laughs> Uh, number two on my list is gonna be Gyromite. Oh, that game sucks hard. Gyromite, you're, you play as two professors, I think. That's the only way I, could, it looks like a stupid Dr. Robotnik, and then a stupid white professor in white clothes. And you go around Dr. Light. Yeah, it looks like you're collecting radishes. You, you're, you're depending on their, one player controls the scientists, the other player controls these pipes that go up and down in a maze, and basically, if your brother is feeling like a dick, he'll kill you all the time. Because <laughs> the pipes crush you. The pipes could crush you if you if you go past the pipe and then he holds down the B button and it lowers it all the way. You'll be there's one part where you could be in a pit and you can't move anywhere. And be like, come on, just let it go so I can move. And he's like, nope. Then the spider crawls because I'm trying to make him push the 
unpush the B button so I could go back up. And then I just go I go more, and then he has, uses another pipe to crush me and kill me. So. And you can't jump on that game. No, of course That's not. What sucks. Of course not. Of course you can't jump. <laughs> you collect these radishes, which I don't know what they do. They feed, You feed them to the monsters. Oh, whatever. And the monsters eat them so you can walk by them. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. But then they, when they finish eating them, they keep going. Or yeah. The monsters keep going. Yeah, I just hate that game. Number two, Garrow Knight for me. My number two is Mighty Bomb Jack. Oh, I never played that. It, it, don't, don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not even really sure what the point of this game is. It's, it's ki- kind of like, uh, it's, it's an old school type game where you're kind of like doing a puzzle, I guess. Not entirely. But basically there's just a bunch of bombs that are scattered throughout each room that you go into. And you're supposed to collect the bombs. I have no idea why or why the bombs are there, what he plans on doing with them, or what his goal is in the in that whole end game. But it's just it's boring. It you know, it's one of those games where you get hit one time and you die. And there's random things that I don't even know what they are floating around that hit you. Um the most annoying part about this game is that if you just tap the, the jump button, he'll fly across the screen. He's like he's like a little mouse, like I guess Maybe Mighty Bomb Jack came from Mighty Mouse because that's mm-hmm. what he looks like. He looks like a little mouse with a with a mask on or something like that. But he'll, if you just tap the button, he'll fly all the way to the top of the screen and he'll float down. It's just it's just so annoying. It's I, I do not recommend that anyone play that game. It was made by Tengen. What? <laughs> it's um, worth two dollars, <laughs> and it was made in 1988. Number two on my list: Deadly Towers. Oh, fuck that game. <laughs> I forgot all about that game. I hate that game so much. Mm-hmm. Basically, you're a little warrior um, who has to enter this tower, and he has a sword to attack, but he doesn't swing the sword. He throws a sword, and it looks like it's coming out of his penis. <laughs> and what kind of enemies do you think a knight would fight? Uh, other knights? Uh, Dra- skeleton? Dragon? Dragon, yeah. You fight little blobs and little balls of slime, slime and <laughs> goo, metal metal spike balls, and maybe a bat here and there. <laughs> and the game is basically this huge tower. You have to basically it's like Legend of Zelda Two, the um, Death Mountain where you find the hammer, like all these different rooms, but it's huge, and you don't know where to go. You have to draw a map out, <laughs> and the enemies take like ten to fifteen hits to attack oh, God. and to kill. And there's like seven enemies on a screen, and it's horrible. Horrible. Deadly Towers made by Broader Bund in 1997. <laughs> I never heard of that company. Yeah. B R O D E R B U N D. Probably the last game they've ever made. Yes. Are we down to number one now? Yeah. Right, number one. My most hated game of all time is going to be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, I don't like that game only because it's so horrible. <laughs> that game sucks so hard. It's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You play as Dr. Jekyll during the day, Mr. Hyde at night. You go through a town, the same town, over and over again. There's ladies of parasols that I don't know if Dr. Hyde just, or Mr. Hyde tries to rape them or what, but <laughs> you go through the game with as Dr. Jekyll first. I don't know why you get hurt when you poke people with the cane. Do you? Yeah. You get hurt? <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if they come attack you or what, but... If you take too much damage or if a timer runs out, you turn into Mr. Hyde, which he goes on a rampage during night, and he starts hitting people. And you go the reverse way, right? You go left to r- or right to left instead of left to right. I think so, and it, and it scrolls automatically, mm-hmm. so you don't let time run out. Because if Dr. Hyde or Mr. Hyde... You know, that game's so fucking so I'm going to call him Dr. Hyde if I want. <laughs> if he advances farther than Jekyll did in the daytime, you automatically game over. Because, I don't know if it's because his mind catches up with him and he's his evil side. Don't even try to explain it. <laughs> you don't, don't try to rationalize. There's there's no saving that game for anything. Uh, we also got our mom for Christmas let us open up her presents early because I think we found them in the closet. Mm-mm. She just liked to see the excitement in her eyes. Okay. I don't <laughs> think there was very many excitement. I mean... When we first, the game cover looks awesome. It looks like a monster on it and everything. We got that and the NES Advantage. 
which I have to correct you from episode 16, you said the advantage did that Mega Man 2 medley is actually the mini bosses. You sure? Yep. Okay. I have it on my phone. But the advantage sucks. The, I mean, Dark Jekyll and the Tide sucks. The whole thing at Christmas was kind of a downer to me because I can just suck so bad. That's not when we got six Nintendo games, right? No, that's when we got Iron Sword and mm. we got all these other cool games. But that game, I think it was the year before. Mm. Yeah. And Matt probably just took his daily shit behind the door. <laughs> so that's where we got him out, was from mom's closet, and that's where he used to do it in her bedroom. Yeah, he would poop behind her door. At the same time, every day. And he, we'd catch him back there squatting, and we'd be like, Mom, he's doing it again. And she's like, oh, it's okay, I'll clean it up. Yeah, so, so Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, number one on my list. <laughs> Alright, so my number one is a game that I should have never played. It's, uh, you know, back in the day, you can go to grocery stores and rent video games. Heck yeah, that was, a, that was a life. So I went to the grocery Every store Friday. with my mom and my sister. And my sister wasn't really into video games, but this one time she got the uh, the inkling to play a video game. She saw a Barbie video game. Oh yeah? And she rented it. And I was like, alright, well, it's a video game, I might as well try it. Oh my god. <laughs> Worst video game ever. <laughs> and that's my number one. Barbie. Barbie. I mean, it's it's obviously going to suck. I mean, it's, it's a game based on a girl's toy. It's, there was, it, right off the bat, you know it's going to suck, but I gave it a try anyway. So I, I'm not even sure what you're doing in the game. You just kind of walk around like through a mall, and every once in a while, things will get in your way, and you have to like, throw little balls at it. And, but it doesn't even matter. It, it, it the gameplay sucks. The story sucks. I mean, the character obviously sucks. Uh, one, <laughs> one little thing. At the very beginning of the game, I had to I had to do a little research to to remember exactly what she said. The very beginning of the ge- game. This is how it kind of, it's kind of an introduction. You see her. You see Barbie reading in bed. She said, and this is what she says. She says, "I love reading about mermaids." But, yawn, tomorrow's a big day. I'm having lunch at the soda shop. And that's her big day. <laughs> so that's basically it's just a horrible... You know, you know who the target audience is for this game. It's girl, basically. They're saying that a hard day is going to the soda shop for a, for a girl. It's just a horrible message, horrible game, horrible gameplay, horrible character. Just nothing good about this game. I know I should have never even tried playing it, but I did. That's my number one. That's tight. I wish I would have played that no, just so don't. I could. <laughs> Do you know what they call women hockey? Women hockey? Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Sweeping. <laughs> you lost me. What do you mean women hockey? Like women hockey, you know, when women play hockey. Why do you say women hockey? Like women hockey. Like women basketball, like, like sweeping with a broom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. He's trying to be. Like, the you threw me off when you say women hockey. Like, uh, yeah, I think I would have understood it more if you said women's hockey. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I get it. Ha uh-huh. <laughs> You're a show man. Uh, take a photo. <laughs> uh, my number one game is Super Pitfall. Oh yes, that game sucks. Have you ever played it? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it you know the game's bad when it says. 1986 Activision. That's who made it. But then it says 1986 re-chrom- reprogrammed by Pony Inc. <laughs> 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 so you're playing as Pitfall Harry. Uh, it's just like a side scroller, but it's a huge map, and each screen has its own section. And of course, there's uh, you go underground, and you don't even know what to do with I still don't know how you play the game. I know you have to jump in certain spots and, like, a... Um, a treasure. Like a spade or a heart will appear. Uh-huh. A club. Or a diamond, and you have to find, I guess, those. I'm not even sure, but that's what we thought, so we tried to look for all of them. But you don't know where it's at. You have to jump in every single spot of the map to find it, and it's horrible. Yeah, but... Uh, super Dude, pitfalls. pitfalls. That, that game sucks. I remember you have Try to jump on the ropes, and there's spikes and lava and pits, and get hit once you die. That's it for top five. Um, I was gonna put highlight on here, 
But I really enjoy High Life. Dude, High Life, I didn't like it because there is no way you, you, you could know how to beat the dragon at the end to get into the castle. Yeah, that game you didn't know what to do. Unless, I, I don't even know if the instruction booklet told you what to do. But it's only saving grace was the music. It has a pretty tight music. High Life? High Life. High Life? H-Y-D-L-I-D-E. Hmm. It's an RPG. Kind of looks like Dragon Warrior. Kind of, but it's like a map where you just walk around and... There's a rock that'll shake and you touch it. Oh, there's a fairy. So yeah. I guess the princess gets broken up into three fairies and you have to find the three fairies to bring her back to life and then you have to go to this castle and there's a dragon flying around. What kind of message is that saying? Three fairies? Huh? Tit tit pussy? <laughs> uh, three parts of a woman? Uh, I don't know if that's only three parts of a woman. <laughs> that's what I'd like saying. <laughs> I don't think Highlight was saying that. I think, I think that would work. <laughs> you know what the sport of Highlight is? Yeah, the, yeah I, I saw the big basket thing. Yeah. That's what I thought you said. Mm. Yeah, there were a couple of games that I wanted to put on there, but I couldn't because I actually kind of enjoyed them. Like, some of those games I actually did kind of enjoy, like Ghosts and Goblins is fun, mm. if you just want to kill, like, three minutes because you're going to die that quick. <laughs> um Jaws is kind of fun, like you said. There's there's that little bonus game with it where you're dropping the bombs in the, in the airplane. And even Mighty Bomb Jack is kind of fun mm -hmm. if you again if you just want to play for like a minute or two because that's pretty much all you're gonna get out of it. It's gonna be the same thing over and over. But uh, there's also a game uh, called Dick Tracy. Yeah. Oh I, man. I kind of liked that game. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like a, there was a challenge to it, and you had to. Play it over and over to see what you were doing at first because you really don't. There's like a whole city you gotta go through and try to find the person who did the crime, but that's pretty cool. The only downside, uh, I don't remember them really giving you any direction as to where you were supposed to go. You just yeah. kind of had to explore and eventually run into whatever it was that you were looking for. And then you, if you arrested the wrong villain, of course you would die or you'd get hurt or whatever. You can't arrest the wrong villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a warrant. <laughs> I want to say that there were more, but that, that was my main one that I was debating on putting on there. Rambo was pretty bad too, but again, it's music saved it for me. <laughs> it's opening music like a tight, even though like on the cutscenes where it shows him talking to the colonel, um, he looks like Glass Joe, but with black <laughs> hair. It's kind of funny. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, the opening scene to uh, Top Gun was pretty good, just because of the music, too. Mm -hmm. It was like a MIDI version of the of the Top Gun thing. It was tight. Too bad they didn't have a MIDI version of Hobby to the Danger. Oh, that was so tight. Hey, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> so next week, we have the Trivia Challenge. Yes! And I think I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I think I'm going to, like, for one category, I'm going to like do a movie that you guys haven't seen. And have you guys watch it, and then compete for a category that way. Okay. So say it again. A movie that I haven't seen. Yeah, like you guys haven't seen. So I could give it to you guys, and uh, you guys could watch it, and then prepare that way. Maybe okay. You do have these on it, like three days and three days. Oh, it's it's a movie that you have that mm -hmm. you own. Do you have it in mind? No. Okay. I have to do homework. Yeah. No, just watch the movie. <laughs> That's homework. <laughs> Yak Shemesh. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I like you. I like sex. <laughs> so we went back. Jim Queen. <laughs> we went back and watched Borat. <laughs> Released in what, 2008? I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, it was, it's a very funny movie. It's probably my favorite comedy of all time. <laughs> uh, you, pick, think of one better. Go ahead. I dare you. Dumb and Dumber? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm obviously biased. I, I've been following this character, Sasha Baron Cohen, you know, Ollie G, Borat, Bruno, since probably like 98, 99. He, he only did two seasons of the Ollie G show, and it's... For like, HBO, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's for been HBO. doing them in uh, Britain for England for a long time. Yeah. And they're like... <clears throat> all, all of them are, are like amazing. Yes. All of his episodes. Totally. I have to think that the only reason that he stopped doing it is because people started recognizing him. Yeah. That's probably what happened. 
and now he just can't think of any more characters. And he's, he's obviously a serious actor now, mm -hmm. too, so he doesn't have to do that anymore. <laughs> the dictator was pretty funny. Yeah, it was. I liked when he was always uh, making fun of the uh, Anna Ferris character. The one who, the one who was in the uh, the, the vegan lady. Well, then she, uh, she always <laughs> on her for being fat chested or whatever. And I remember uh, Chester <laughs> Harry. Oh. <laughs> He thought she was a boy for yeah. the longest time. A little boy. <laughs> yeah. Borat is, I think my favorite part going through it is when he's at the farmer's daughter's house, like you mentioned. Yeah. And he, and he thinks she's a gypsy. <laughs> and he tries to go collect her tears. <laughs> and he's all like, let me look at your treasures. <laughs> what, uh, why did he need the tears? For protection against the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Because in his country, Kazakhstan, they are definitely afraid of Jewish people. <laughs> and they have the, instead of the running of the bulls, they have the running of the Jews. <laughs> and the mom Jews lays an egg, and all the little Kazakh kids go try to break the egg before the Jew baby hatches. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay because he's Jewish in real life. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen is. <laughs> and uh, I think there was an episode on the LAG show when... He's learning self-defense, and he's like, the Jew has a claw. <laughs> How do you defend against Jew claw? <laughs> yeah. But the, the TV series is just as funny as the movie, oh, if not yeah. funnier, because he goes and messes with everybody. Breaking people's minds. Yeah. And, you know, they, they're they all, it, it's happening to actual live people, and they think he's this character, because he plays them so good, and they don't know that it's, Based, it's based on a character and they're being filmed for entertainment and they just think it as a foreign guy who's they want to be nice to him because they don't want to come off racist or you know if you go up to someone for oh, okay yeah that's nice I'll, I'll, I'll let you I'll, I'll look at pictures of you sticking your dick in your sister <laughs> which you did at a dinner party once <laughs> I mean, the, the, the comedy there is just endless. You could just think about all the episodes and he did three other characters Bruno, Ollie G and uh, I think those were the only other two, but very funny. Yeah, and, then, and then when he first gets to America, he goes to New York. <laughs> the first few scenes, he's just trying to interact with New Yorkers, yeah. and they're not so generous. So like, get off me, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, like, his way of introducing himself, he'll kiss him on the cheeks or whatever. And he only kisses the males. So. Yeah, he only kisses the males, that's right. But they're just not accustomed to that, and they are not willing to accommodate him. <laughs> They're just like, get the fuck off me or I'll break your face or some shit like yeah. that. And there's like three scenes where people are just threatening him because he tries to read him. It's funny. And then there's that scene where the guy's running away from him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's basically going across America doing a fake, uh, a mockumentary, uh, trying to learn our culture and trying to find Pamela Anderson. <laughs> CJ Parker. <laughs> He falls in love with her watching an episode of Baywatch, and then he goes to the the gypsy lady's yard sale and finds a Baywatch <laughs> coloring book, basically, and he buys it, and Azamat, his uh, producer, uses it for spanking material, <laughs> which sets Brad off, Brad off, and they end up fighting in the hotel and going through naked, just rumbling past co conventions and <laughs> they end up in an elevator holding a giant rubber fist. <laughs> Both start naked. <laughs> what does a uh, fraternity guy say? Don't let a woman tell you what to do or something? I think he says don't let, don't ever let a woman make you who you are or something <laughs> like that. And then he, he told him something about um, what some, some custom they did in Kazakhstan and the guy's like, I'll do it. I'll do it. Fuck. I'll do it. He's so drunk. I can't remember what it was, but it was heck oh, of funny. Shit. Yeah, you're right. I don't remember what he said either. I have to, I'll think about it. <laughs> and then when they told him about the sex tape with Pam Anderson. <laughs> Devastating. He broke his heart. <laughs> so I called Brad up on Sunday. I was like, this is going to be my last hurrah. I'm going to see if he wants to go get some sushi uh, before I restrict myself. I call him up and you wanna to go to Argatos? Nah. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I already made plans. I went to TGI Fridays with Cindy and Rob. So then I um went to 
Uh, oh no, then the next day I saw him at Arigato's with Logan and Sal. Like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, you jerk. So I was like, I'm going to go um, check out this other place called Soho Sushi off of Zinfandel. That place is amazing. It's like this other good sushi place called Ninja Sushi. It's made by the same owners, but all the rolls are half off. And I just gorged. I got like five different rolls. Did you uh, try their barbecue albacore? No. Why not? Because I just got rolls because they were 50% off. Oh. And I got this one called the Akira Special that's so good. It's got baked scallop on top, like seared scallop and crab and spicy tuna on the inside with a special baked sauce. And I was like, they've got this here because it's usually like 12 bucks at Ninja, but at uh, Soho Sushi it was only uh, 6 because it's half off of 12. Wow. It was tight. So in your face. Uh, I still think the sexy roll was very better. You you can't say that because you never had it. You, I've had both. You've never had the sexy Yes, I have. Uh-huh. I said it looked like a generic Triforce because <laughs> it's got rounded corners. But it's got a fresh jalapeno <laughs> cut up in it. That's pretty good, but the Sakura special is amazing. No. I'll try it. I'll, I'll check it out one of these days. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Find it. <laughs> So uh, next week we're doing the we're doing the challenge. Yep. Uh, do you, so you don't know what movie we're gonna do yet. I could go look real quick. So you were like you sent me an email of like I could talk about what we're doing on the on the trivia challenge, and mm-hmm. you're like you had all this time to think about what movie. And you're <laughs> like I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, and then we, you'll just have different categories. Have you thought of any other categor- categories? No. Okay. It's all going to be about one movie? Just one category. Just one category about one movie? Uh Uh-huh. Wait, no, so there's multiple categories, but one category will be about one movie. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the same format as the other ones? Of course. That's that's how it works. Ever since that sport challenge. I'm going to throw a curveball at you. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, man. He's already, he's all excited over here. Yeah. I, I might have to make a couple episodes, double episodes, so we could get to it faster. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> and there's going to be a, a final question. Of course. Okay. Okay. And they'll ha- I'll have something else special. Wow. H or H. That's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Heaven or hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, okay, so I guess as you think of more categories or whatever, you could post them on the page. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to go into this whole podcast like he's gonna like have some big reveal or something. <laughs> so like, I'll be watching a movie. Maybe <clears throat> there there might be some. We'll see. <laughs> and you're just like, no, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was too busy playing Wario 2. Oh, I see. <laughs> Occupied my mind. Okay. So that's cool. So we'll, we'll do it next week. Or whenever we could all get together again. So that'll do it for this episode of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brandon. This is Brad. This is Nick. Happy hunting! Alright.